Okay, uh, let me start early today. Uh, last time I was not able to record the voice and some of you were not here. Uh, so I want to just quickly, just uh, as a review what we did on Monday. Okay, it's good for you also. So we again talk about the uh, uh, brosphere is the embedding of the C4 space after some uh, simplification on the real 3D space, right? The most important thing that we need to remind ourselves is that the wave function now becomes something like this, characterized by two parameters, theta and phi. Theta turned out to be the polar angle of this brosphere, and the phi is a simple angle, right? And again, I told you that be careful not to use brosphere uh, to uh, find the gates that you want without considering the general state. For example, if I only consider special states 0 and 1, it's very easy for you to think that a not gate can be constructed by just rotating about this uh, y-axis by pi, right? Instead, you need to go through the rigorous definition by comparing the rotation matrix against the gate matrix you want. So then we say that the rotation on the broad sphere about any s's uh, can be found by using this equation. This is given, right? As I said, uh, the book uh, JJ Sakura's uh, Quantum Mechanics uh, is in our syllabus. It's very good. It has a chapter about this angular momentum. Uh, it has this equation derived. Uh, you, you can take a look. But otherwise, other than that, just take it for granted. And I say this is very easy to memorize because it is talking about, I want to rotate about a vector, unit vector in the real 3D space, N. Right? In special case, it can be X, Y, Z by gamma. This is the angle I want to rotate. And it's very easy to memorize the exponential negative gamma over two. There's a two. And you know, you, you can, you, you will always remember to have this two later because we found out that you need four pi rotation in order to get back the original state. And then this is poly vector dot product with the unit vector. That's it, n dot sigma, right? So we remind you the n, of course, is x n, x n, n, x n, y n, c in the uh, unit vector in the 3D space. And the sigma, uh, the poly vector is sigma x sigma y sigma c, right? Again, we are not, we don't, we, we are not confused now, right? Because we are very comfortable that if even the complex number can be the coefficient, then the, it's nothing special to have the matrix as the coefficient of uh, a space, right? So we remind ourselves this poly vector is just sigma x, x hat plus sigma y y hat plus sigma z c hat, right? And x sig, n dot sigma is just equal to this matrix. So after all, again, what is the rotation vector uh, about uh, uh, or the rotation matrix of, of the rotation? About uh, n for gamma is just exponential or e to the power negative i gamma divided by 2 n dot sigma. Then we take a special case when uh, gamma equal to pi and n equal to c. Just means, means It just means that we rotate about sigma by gamma degree, right, or radiant. And we say that because this matrix is diagonal, so I can just get the exponentiation of this matrix by exponentiating each of these elements, okay? Because this matrix is negative i pi over 2, i pi over 2. Exponential of this whole matrix is just equal to a matrix with the elements, diagonal elements, exponential negative i pi over 2, exponential i pi over 2. This is only true when it is diagonal, and I explain why, right? I'm going to repeat again. And that's it. That's why I want to talk about rotation. Is that okay? Later, I see it.